friends, this video on playing with numbers part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we have learned so much about factors, multiples and divisibility, we will talk about something very interesting. That is common factors and multiples. Now you might be thinking what, what does that mean? Common factors and multiples. So these are basically those numbers with same factors or same multiples. So it, it, do you think that two numbers can have the same multiple? Yes, of course they can have. Now let's do one thing. Let us try to find the common multiples of numbers 2 and 3. So for that we will first write down the multiples of 2 here and we will write down the multiples of 3 here. So let's do this exercise. So what do we get? This would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now we will write considerable number of multiples so that it becomes easier for us to find out the common multiples between 2 and 3. So these are the multiples of 2. Now let us write multiples of 3. So that would be something like this. So now when you look at the multiples of 2 and multiples of 3. So do you find that there are certain multiples, there are certain numbers which are multiples of 2 as well as multiple of 3. The first number that you could identify is 6. 6 is a multiple of 2 and 6 is also a multiple of 3. The next number is 12. It is a multiple of 3 and it is also a multiple of 2. 18. Again a common multiple. 24 is another common multiple. So what are you observing? There are certain multiples which are common to numbers. Common to 2 or more than 2 numbers. So these numbers are said to have common multiples. So you can say that 2 and 3 have certain common multiples. So what we can say, we can say that common multiples of 2 and 3 are 6, 12, 18, 24. Now since here I have written only till here, if we keep writing more, we will continue to get more common multiples. So the, this is the range of the common multiples of 2 and 3. Now what about common factors? Do you think that 2 and 3 might have common factors as well. Do you think so? So for that let us try to write the factors of 2. What are the factors of 2? 2 has 2 factors 1 and 2 because 2 is a prime number so it has 2 factors. One is 1 and the other one is itself that is 2. Similarly factors of 3 would be 1 and 3. So do you have any common factor? Yes of course. 1 is a common factor. So 1 is a factor of 2 and 1 is also a factor of 3. So therefore we would say that common factor between 2 and 3 is 1. So they have just one common factor. Now anyways we have learned before that the number of factors for a number is always finite. There are fixed number of factors. So it is quite obvious that the number of common factors will also be fixed. But in case of multiples there, there exist infinite number of multiples for any number and therefore the common multiples are also like many. So this is the concept of common factors and multiples. Now to have a better understanding, let us try to find out common factors and multiples of these two numbers 4 and 8. So how will we do that? So again in a similar way, first we will write down multiples of 4 and on the other side we will write down the multiples of 8. So it would go somewhat like this. In a similar way, we will write the multiples of 8 as well. So this would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56 and so on. So now can you find out the common multiples? The first common multiple is 8. The next common multiple would be 16. 
Next one is 24. Next is 32. Next is 40. And so on. Similarly, 48 would also come here. 4 into 12 would be 48 and so on. So therefore, we can say that common multiples between 4 and 8 would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40 and so on. So these are the common multiples. Now you might ask what about factors? So for that we will have to determine the factors first. So what are the factors of number 4? It has 1, 2, 4 because 4 can be written as 1 into 4, 2 into 2, 4 ones are 4. So based on this you can say that 1, 2 and 4 are factors of 4. Similarly what are the factors of 8? 8 can be written as 1 into 8, 2 into 4, 4 into 2, 8 into 1. So it has 1, 2, 4, 8. So which are the common factors? So basically 1, 2, 4. These are common factors. So you can say that common factors of 4 and 8 are 1, 2 and 4. So in this fashion we can find out the common factors and multiples of 2 or more numbers. So let us try with a set of three numbers. So here you are asked to find out the common factors and multiples of three numbers 5, 15 and 25. So here also we will follow a similar approach where we will first write down multiples of each of these numbers. So multiples of 5, then multiples of 15 and then multiples of 25. Similarly, when we write down multiples of 15, it would be something like this. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, 135, 150 and so on. Again, when you write down the multiples of 25, it starts with 25 into 1, which is equal to 25, then 25 2 is 50, 25 3 is 75, 25 4 is 100, 25 into 5 is 125. 25 into 6 is equal to 150 and so on. Now looking at these tables, can you identify the common multiples? The first common multiple, now a common multiple would mean that that number should be a multiple of all the three numbers. For example, look at 30. So 30 is a multiple of 15, 30 is also a multiple of 5, but 30 is not a multiple of 25. So 30 will not be considered as a common multiple of the three numbers. So common means it has to be a multiple of all the three numbers. Now let us consider the number 75. The 75 is a multiple of 25, 75 is also a multiple of 15 and 75 is also a multiple of 5. So the first common multiple would be 75. The next common multiple would be 150 because 150 again is present in all of them. Here I have not written till 150 but in this case also uh, 150 is a multiple of 5. 5 into 30 is equal to 150. So therefore in this case we can write the common multiples between 5, 15 and 25 would go somewhat like this. 75 then 150 and so on. And what about the factors? So for factors again we need to find them first. So for 5 there are just 2 factors 1 and 5. For 15 we do have more factors like 1, 3, 5 and 15. These are the factors for 15 because 15 can be written as 1 into 15, 3 into 5, 5 into 3 and 15 into 1. These are the various ways in which we can write 15. The third number is 25. So 25 again has various factors like 1, 5 and 25. Because 25 can be written as 1 into 25, 5 into 5 and 25 into 1. So these are the factors. Now out of these which are the common factors? 1 is a common factor and 5 is also a common factor. So therefore common factors between 55, 15 and 25 would be 1 and 5.
So in this way, we can find out common factors and multiples between two or more than two numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.